Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 11th of January. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Bannerman Energy, ANZ, CSL, the Beta Shares Crypto ETF and Technology One. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you're getting our free newsletter, but our best stock tips come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report. So make sure you are getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management. So if you'd like to have a trading account with me, please give me a call and we can go through that together. And all the advice here is general only. So here's the weekly chart of, of Bannerman. I mean, we have tipped this one a few times um, in the past several months in the Dynamic Investor. So, you know, we initially had that sort of break of the, the downtrend, the little retest. Um, that was a sort of the initial strong rally there. Um, and then it was followed by a consolidation. Um, and as we could see on the weekly here, it's breaking out. I mean, even if I switch to the daily chart, we could see this consolidation building up. I mean, we even had it in last week's report looking at the um, the breakout buying opportunity. Um, clearly good volume now on the breakout, so that should just head higher and continue to trend. You'd be looking at a retest of um, of these, these previous highs. Okay, ANZ. I mean, if we start at a, at a monthly chart, yeah, peaked in 2015 and um, basically downtrending ever since, but if we go back to the weekly, we can see that it's been building up under this $26 level. So very clear resistance and, and you'd be eyeing this for an upside break. Um, because obviously if it, if it breaks above 26, that's a high probability trade. Um, however, you'll notice that you know, you then, you've then got you know, further resistance around here. So I suppose you've got maybe a 10% trade in that until it starts to hit resistance again. Um, CSL, so as we've sort of pointed out a number of times, we've just had this you know, massive sideways consolidation after the big rally earlier on, um, sort of long-term consolidation. Um, and then recently we've seen you know, this sort of break, downside break only to quickly recover. So as we previously pointed out, you've got that sort of false break on the downside, which is a big buy signal. And then it's been on a, a bit of a tear since then. Um, you know, short term, it's looking a bit overbought, but I'd expect it to, at some point this year, retest the, the upper levels. And then you'd be looking at a, um, an upside break, which would lead to substantial upside. Okay, this um, bid shares ETF. We just look at the daily chart. So, you know, we could see it sort of trending well here, then it went quite, quite vertical. So, sort of big move followed by that sort of deep, deep pullback, sort of rounded out, and we could see a bit of consolidation near this high before breaking again. So. You know, sort of quite large swings here. Um, and then after this this breakout, we could see it's gone up vertically um, and therefore it's, you know, it's, it's basically, we've seen a cool off, but also on decent volume on the way down as well. So look, I think it's sort of run too hard here with that vertical move um, and we'll get some kind of consolidation. Um, you know, we could see this consolidation lasted a few months. So. I think we've got sort of several weeks or so of consolidation before it's ready for the next move. Okay, T and E. So we've got yeah, pretty sideways for a while, last several months. Um, what strikes me is this move here. So we've had this this move up to the old high, only to be sold off pretty heavily, and then we could see the follow through. So a very clear rejection of that upper level 
and now it's just sort of languishing down near the lower part of the range, even though the market's gone up. So, you know, that that's a concern, that rejection of the old high. And, you know, I think it does look at risk. So I'd be keeping a close eye on this support level near 1450 because it does look like it's at risk of breaking under that. Okay, well, that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through and I'll try to cover it next week for you.